the new version of Bricks Forge comes with many new features. I would like to show you a few of them in this video. First of all the new element Pro Forms. We extend the native form with many new features, for example the creation of multi-step forms or new actions like adding data to the database. The new element scroll video. You can now create amazing scroll video animations without video encoding requirements. The result looks impressive. A new focus mode for the Bricksforge panel. This mode is very useful for creating animations. It hides the Bricks panels and shows you the Bricksforge settings in the left column. We have improved the usability for the Bricksforge panel. Now you can change the order of your elements via drag and drop. You can also deactivate instances and timelines when you don't need them. In the backend designer, you can now change the login URL for your WordPress installation. Also, you can now add exceptions to exclude certain pages from your individual design. And these were just a few features that have been added. You can see a full overview in the changelog. Let's start with ProForms. This element contains all the functionality that the native element also contains. And many more have been added. For example, you can now create multi-step forms very easily. To divide your form into multiple steps, simply add the field of the type step, where you want to separate your form. As you can see, the form is now separated. In the builder, you will see all fields at once. In the front end, it looks like this. By the way, all validations are taken into account when the user clicks on next. You can define many different settings for your multi-step form. For example, you can automatically create a summary of all entered data. Just click on Show Summary. Bricksforge will do the rest for you. You can also customize this area as well. As you can see, the user will now see a summary of the input before submitting the form. You can add a visual step navigation by clicking on Show Steps. But there is an even greater way that gives you even more flexibility. For multi-step navigations, there is another element, Pro Forms Steps. You can link this element to your form and then you can place the step navigation wherever you need it and design it the way you want. As you can see, this is perfectly linked to your form. Let's take a closer look at the new actions. The following new actions have been added. Create new post, update post meta, add option, update option, delete option, set storage item. I would like to show you a few of them in more detail. Let's start with create new post. For the new post that will be created after submitting the form, you can make some settings. For example, we want to create it as draft. The post type should be posts. As title, we want to insert the name of the user. For this, we just need to copy the field ID and enter it to the title field. We also want to create a custom field with the key reservations. Here, we also need to enter the ID in the same way. Let's try this out. As you can see, the new post has been created correctly with our data. Great! The new option-related actions also gives you a lot of possibilities. These are entries that are stored in the options table of your database. You can use them to permanently save certain data. I would like to show you a practical use case. For example, you could create a numeric value that shows the number of available reservations. In my example, I set it to 20. By the way, you can use the new element option for this, which is also a part of the new version. We now want to make it that every time someone submits the form, this value gets decreased by 1. No problem, just select Update option. Enter the name of the option you want to update and as update type, decrement number. 
as highlight you have the option to live update the value without having to refresh the browser to see the new value. Just enter the live update selector. In this selector, Brixforge will inject the updated value of the database. Let's try this out. Awesome! Even after reloading the page, the new value will persist because it was stored permanently to the database. Another useful function are submit button conditions. You can disable the submit button under certain conditions. For example, we want to disable the button when the number of reservations is greater than 5, but only on Mondays. You can do it like this. Here as you can see the button gets disabled when the value is greater than 5 and the day is set to Monday. Great. Let's take a deeper look into the new element scroll video. There is not much to say here at all. With this element you can achieve very impressive results easily. Drag the element into the builder canvas and select the video you want to use. You can make different settings here, for example the scrolling speed or if the video should be sticky. By the way, you will get the best results if the element is inserted as parent. It is so much fun to use this element. As you can see, the video plays relative to my scroll movement. Impressive. For the panel, the focus mode can be activated now. This changes the entire layout of the panel and allows you to work in a more focused way, especially when it comes to animations. All settings are here on the left side and the bricks panels are hidden. This gives the canvas a lot of space. Of course, you can also switch between the different areas here. The panel got a few more features that will make your work easier. For example, you can now change the order of your elements. This is especially important for event actions. You can also deactivate individual instances or timelines. Deactivated ones will not be executed. In addition, the panel has received the setting Horizontal Scroll, which will be helpful for smaller screens. With the new Disable Float setting, the panel now no longer overlaps the other areas, but automatically adjusts the height, so that you can still always reach the elements on the bottom. In the Backend Designer you can now set a custom login URL. You can also exclude certain pages in the backend from the design settings. Also, pages are now possible for the custom dashboard, in addition to templates. You can set how links that are clicked should behave. This way, you could create not only one static page for your client as a dashboard, but also multiple pages through which he can navigate. Yeah, this was a small preview about some new features of the version 0.96. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm really happy about your feedback. See you next time.